I find it really fascinating to do something that nobody has ever done before. Every day is different, so you do one day you do experiment, the other day you do some microscopy, one day you have to write something, so there, there is always something new happening and you have to, you have to really work on um, progress and self-development and acquire new skills. I love this city because you feel like you, you're on holidays basically every day. You're su surrounded by nature, so from one side you have uh, the seaside, the beautiful um, beaches, and on the other side you have the forests and uh, lakes also, also around. And I also love the architecture and there, there are a lot of places where you can spend your free time. We meet in this place because I like to come here after work to, to just relax or, 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 or have a coffee with my friends. So I started with doing a PhD uh, in clinical oncology of uh, urological cancers. That was something like very clinical and then after PhD I decided to do my postdoc more on something like basic uh, science, so um, understanding the, the molecular processes in a single cell. I chose the lab of uh, Paolo Maiuri in uh, Milan and uh, then I decided to like combine these two, two, two different um, experiences. Uh, I found this uh, position at the Institute of Translational Oncology uh, that is um, guided by a Professor uh, Anna Zacek. My research focuses on identifying of the group of patients that are that is in a highly risk of developing metastasis and which we know like on the majority of cancer patients they die because of uh, metastasis they don't they don't die because of the primary tumor they die because the disease has disseminated all over the body so by using like different tools, so this uh, molecular biology, uh, high quality imaging, uh, quantitative pathology, I'm trying to, uh, to understand which patients are at risk of developing um, this more aggressive disease and they can uh, develop um, metastasis in the future. Uh, everybody assesses like the, the tumor as a whole or some single cells but I would like to go like more in deep and see if there are like some some architectural architectural features of cancer cells that could, for example, help us to tell, okay, this cells, this population is more aggressive. This cells can metastasize, and this this cells can form metastasis in the future, and 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 we need to like. Uh, treat this patient more or monitor uh, monitor him more than, than other patients so that's the that's the idea on the one hand it could help uh, to find new so-called biomarkers to to find the patients that are in the danger of developing uh, metastasis and on the other hand by knowing the, that there are some molecular components that are aberrant in these more aggressive tumors, we could find some uh, therapy targets, potential therapy targets for, for cancer patients, so that could help to, to find new treatments in the future.